Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and today we are testing out some CO2 10,600 nanometer safety glasses. I didn't want to leave you CO2 guys in the wind, so uh, today we're going to be cooking these up and uh, seeing whether or not they're going to protect our eyes. So uh, without any further ado, we're going to cut right into it. Here we go. This is going to be pretty easy to test guys. Um, CO2s are really powerful and this is a 100 watt laser so all we really need to do is throw a post-it note on there, hit the pulse button and see if we uh, have some carnage. Uh, that's, that's really all there is to it. So we'll go ahead and take this old post-it note off and grab a new one and throw some glasses in there and see what that does. We've got our 1064 nanometer laser glasses here and we're just going to snap these off just like we did with the fiber ones get those out of the way and we'll go ahead and put ourselves in harm's way here uh, so you can see this does not filter that red light there uh, hopefully it filters the co2 uh, blast so we're gonna maybe if we could just hook this on here somehow I'm probably gonna have to hold it uh, but that's okay I'm feeling it I'm feeling excited I'm, I'm alive I'm happy to be here and one two three pulse one two three pulse one two three pulse and look at that that's crazy that's actually crazy <laughs> i was not expecting this to go well that just blocked a hundred watts of co2 laser right there boom insane let's go ahead and give it a couple more blasts right up here one two three pulse look at that even if i hold it for a second it's hot i can feel it i can feel the heat on my hand and that's pretty crazy oh i think i I think I missed it there. Yep. Ooh, ooh, hot. Oh man, that's what happens when you miss. These are re these are providing some protection. Let's go ahead and move that down just a little bit. A fresh spot, and uh, let's just. I really want to kind of get like the the corners here, if we're able to. Like somewhere right around there looks really good. All right, let's go ahead and pulse it there. Yep, even on those ends, uh, that's that's just incredible. And you can see the fallout of of the plastic that's just coming down. It's like raining down, like a, like some kind of nuclear firestorm just took place. Uh, that's intense. Uh, so let's go ahead, and we're actually going to reconfigure here just a little bit, and I want to see if this can block a focused beam now uh, through the lens. So here we are, guys. We've got our uh, CO2 safety goggles here, and we're now between the actual focusing lens and the paper. And I want to see if marking it through the focusing lens condenses the beam enough to penetrate our glasses. So we're going to go ahead and test fire this right now with a pulse. Yep, we're definitely coming through now. So while the blind beam was not enough to uh, get through these glasses, the focused beam seems to be able to do so. Now, the thing to remember here is that we are not putting our eye directly underneath the uh, the focal beam there. Uh, we are quite a bit of ways that you should not have your head in the machine like that. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of simulate a more out of focus reflection, uh, something that would actually mimic more or less where we would be in real life uh, if we were to catch like a reflection off one of the honeycomb grid uh, spots or a piece of material that we were lasering so i just want to put a little more distance uh, between the goggles and the uh, the lens there because we're at that spot we're almost exactly perfectly in focus um, so that's just the absolute maximum power that this beam is going to put out so we're going to come down just a little bit uh, we'll get a new post-it and we'll see if uh, this time with a little more distance uh, something more you know uh, representative of if you were standing over your machine how the uh, the glasses would fare then so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll set that up right now 
All right, guys, so we're a little bit closer to a realistic situation now um, because, again, we were very, very close to the exact focal distance of this lens. So I just wanted to come in here and just be a little more realistic with uh, the distance that we're going to be looking at in real life. Um, of course, we're never going to actually have our eyeball within focusing uh, distance of the lens. So I wanted to give it just a little extra distance. So we're just going to come down here. This is incredibly dangerous. Do not try this at home. Um, we've got a nice line up there, and we're going to go ahead and mark these. One, two, three, and pulse. And now we seem to be uh, doing a great job protecting our, our, uh, our post-it note there. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and focus at the same time. Even repeated hits. Look at that. Nice. I'm sold. I feel much better about this now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the exhaust because I'm breathing this in and that can't be good. Uh, and I will see you over at the front counter so that we can take a look at the actual goggles themselves. I can't stress enough guys that I just nearly uh, killed myself doing this. So do not try this uh, please because uh, this is not plastic that you want to be breathing in. Uh, but we are here for the, uh, the kind of like overview really quick. Uh, it does come with a nice carrying case. It comes with these uh, like neck strap uh, bits here, which I haven't tested, but I assume would fit nicely on here. The fiber laser ones from the same company, Free Mascot, that we just reviewed did not come with these. Uh, and of course they're going to struggle here on me uh, on camera, but I'm sure I could get those on. Uh, so that's nice. Um, we also have a microfiber cleaning cloth, though it's going to take a bit more than this cloth to, uh, to clean up this mess here. Uh, and we have uh, the, the carrying case I think we covered. So uh, here are the actual glasses. And one of the nice things about CO2 glasses is that because CO2 lasers operate so far outside of the wavelength of visible light, uh, you end up with essentially clear laser goggles. Uh, you can see right through these. And uh, you know, some guys like to have goggles that cover the entire range, that they only have to wear one pair uh, the entire time that they're working. Uh, but I like having separate ones for this very reason, because when I'm just doing CO2 work, I can actually see what I'm doing. I don't need to deal with the uh, tinted fiber laser goggles. I can just walk around and, and do my business uh, as, as usual. Uh, so that's really nice. Uh, the other thing that I'd like to point out is for you glasses wearers, I wear fairly big glasses and these completely cover them. Uh, I get full uh, range of vision on these. They, they fit comfortably inside the, uh, inside the goggles there. So um, that's really convenient for me as well because uh, I am a glasses wearer. Uh, I can't put these back on because I broke them off to shoot the video, um, but they are adjustable and um, they are also uh, extremely comfortable. Um, they're again, like the fiber laser ones that we just reviewed, not made out of that hard like ABS plastic. They're made out of like a softer, uh, almost rubberized texture uh, plastic and it makes them way more comfortable to wear for extended periods of time. I'm really impressed with these glasses. They only failed the uh, point blank in focus test there, uh, which just shot through it like a laser beam. You can see the little holes there. Uh, just, I mean, it, it punched right through, um, but we were perfectly in focus. And again, you're not going to be wearing these perfectly in focus uh, with the laser. So at least hopefully not. Um, so in that situation, I'm going to go ahead and give these a pass. Every other test we threw at it with full power on a hundred watt machine, these completely blocked the beam. Uh, and that is an A plus in my book. Uh, I feel really, really good about that. So free mascot is two for two now on laser glasses that can effectively protect our eyes. Uh, I'm, I'm stoked on these. Uh, and again, I'm gonna have to get another pair now. I only bought one because I was not sure how this test was going to go. One of the things that's really cool about these is that it actually, there's zero penetration on the back end. They didn't even bubble out. The only spots I can feel uh, were the spots where we did the in-focus test. Uh, so those little dots like here and here and here where it actually just cut the glasses. Uh, but all of the spots where we blasted it from any sort of defocused position, totally soft on the back. Uh, so, so that's really cool too. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with these and they're 20 bucks cheaper than the fiber laser ones. You can actually see through them. 
Uh, so yeah, I absolutely would recommend these. I, I certainly am going to buy a second pair for myself. As always, there's a link in the description if you'd like to pick up a pair of the free mascot CO2 glasses. Uh, it's right down there. It helps support the channel, so I sure do appreciate that. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you get notified the next time we post a video. I'd also encourage you to check out the Patreon. Uh, people are supporting the channel. It's 4 or $8 a month, and it helps to make sure that I continue to have time and money to uh, continue making these videos. So um, we just have uh, an exceptional number of patrons already. I can't believe that you guys love the show that much that you wanna throw money at it. Um, and that makes me feel really good uh, about about the whole channel. And I'm, I'm just so grateful. So thank you so much if you are already a Patreon subscriber. If you're not, link in the description, which is where you will also find the link to our Discord. Uh, it's a huge community now. I haven't checked in the last couple hours and that matters because they come in so fast but i think we're near 60 members now so if you want to be part of an active and engaged community where people talk about lasers own lasers help each other with lasers uh, that is the place for you to go so definitely check out that last link in the description to the discord along with all the other affiliate links that we have up there so if you want to check out any of the gear uh, that i use here in the shop it's all listed down there uh, below the free mascot co2 laser glasses uh, which you're going to find right at the top there i think that's it I think that's everything for this video guys. Uh, I'm going to hop on Amazon right now and order myself a new pair of these so that I can wear them when I'm using my CO2 because the factory ones that, that come with the machine are a joke. So uh, I'm going to go buy some glasses and I'll see you guys really, really soon.